your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Friends and members of the community coming together to pay tribute to social and political activist Kendall Casey X. Colebrook, who passed away last week. Some remembered him as a freedom, as a freedom fighter and the voice of the people. Megan Shepard was there. We pause to remember and share the life of a freedom fighter, a brother, a father, a son, and most certainly a legend. Family members, activists, and loved ones gathering to pay tribute to the late Kendall KCX Colbrook. Colbrook being remembered as one who was always outspoken about his love and desire to see change in Grand Bahama and the country. Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, Peter Turnquest, says although Colbrook fiercely criticized him, they were able to make amends a few months back. I, I want the family to know that uh, certainly uh, I appreciated him. Uh, I appreciate what he was trying to do. Uh, we had many conversations about his approach, uh, and, I, and I tried to counsel him uh, with respect to using a more tactful way of trying to get uh, what he's trying to communicate across. Uh, but you know, Casey was a special character, uh, and, and he did it his way. Colbrook's eldest son, Omar Lightborn, says that Colbrook set an example of what it truly meant to put country above self. Casey's youngest sister, thanking everyone for their continued support during this time. So even on his dying bed, he still was wor worried about his country. That's an example. He sacrificed everything for us that we cannot let his dad go in vain. So let me rephrase that. He is not dead. He's alive in us. And he always preached that we are stronger together. I just want to thank everybody for everything on the calls and the prayers and everything. Thank you so much. Activist Troy Garvey and C. Allen Johnson both worked closely with Colbrook. They are remembering him as a true fighter that never gave up. We will always remember him and we will not let us fight and his word died in this Grand Bahama or the Bahamas on the whole. And we call this press conference in tribute to him because it is so deserving to have him here. KCX believe in community, civic, social, political, religious, environmental, and human rights advocacy, something that we both share. We have a very close relationship. But one thing that we knew in the order of our advocacy it was God, family, country, then self. President of the Enough Movement, Chantel Johnson Ryan, emphasizing that the fight for change will continue. There will be a memorial service in Nassau, which will be held the 28th of July. Service will be held at First Baptist Church, Market Street, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The home-going funeral service will be held at, at Jubilee Cathedral, the 31st of July, 2021. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. And he will certainly be missed. Stay with us, our Facebook friend of the night, up next.